recording? It is recording. Hey guys, just real quick. I changed out the puddle lights. The, I had the ones that just said Challenger before. It wasn't, it wasn't very bright. <clears throat> it didn't shine very much, so I got these ones. Look at that. <laughs> this is the shit or what? So that is way better. I ordered these on eBay. They came in from China. It took about two weeks. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. I like it with the red and the yellow B. Big difference. It's super bright, too. So I mean, I got a lot of lights on here. Better than the other ones. Well, I want to show one other thing. From inside, you can see the lights. Look at that. You can see a little bee. <laughs> you can see like a little bee right there when I look down. That door's closed. And it's the same on this side. If I close, open the door on the other side. I open the door on the other side and this one's closed you'll see the bee down on the bottom it's kind of neat all right there welcome back welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great day it is the weekend a wet one indeed you know <clears throat> last night my wife gave me a call and says uh honey i got a check engine light what is going on no not in the challenger in the mile what the hell I was just bragging how those Mazdas don't have any problem. Mazda, I guess you want to call it. Um, I don't know. So I pulled out my old ELM 327. I don't know if you guys have seen these. I thought I would show real quick <clears throat> how this all works. I was able to read the code. Uh, cut right to the chase. It's a uh, coolant temperature sensor. The uh, code that I got, I'll post it up here in the, in the video if I remember. And... Uh, I do got to need to get a take a look at we we we're going in there for maintenance anyway having a bunch of stuff done uh fluid in the brake lines is going to be changed um uh coolant coolant's going to be changed a few other things on our car just big uh just a big to do on her car anyway just regular maintenance stuff have them check the brakes and uh have them do this as well so anyway, um, I'm going to plug this in and show you how this uh, this tool works. If you guys have already seen these, I'm going to use Torque Light. Um, but um, if you have any comments, uh, put them in the comment description down below. And uh, here we go. First thing I checked was her coolant level, and I don't want to see any in there. Good Lord. I'm going here. I haven't started the car, so... Well, that sucks. So we are really low, and I dropped that, so I have to get my little magnet. So I show these quirks so you realize there's nothing. Nothing is easy. Yeah, this thing is really low. I don't know what the heck's going on. That could be bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the oil, make sure there's no water in the oil, because if there's an intake manifold problem, oh, God. So let me check that. Let me get a rag. I put some fluid in there. It's gonna pull it in. I know when it's cold, you don't <clears throat> you don't go to the top, but it's gonna pull it in. So I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna show you this uh, the sensor though. Put her keys. <laughs> and her port is right right over here. There we go. It's in. Get it up. Start her up. I'm using my using my old phone. Is that blue thing? All right. Using my old phone. With the Bluetooth connect. Apps. This is version 1.5. 
You can put stuff on here if you want. I want to see my fault codes. That's a good sign. Sorry, I got the lens messed up. Alright, so I had cleared it. So uh, I wanted to see if it comes back. Just leave that here for a minute. Check that fluid to see how it's doing. She drives us to work every day. All right, so I checked a couple things. A couple things was uh, I wanted to see if I was feeling any heat coming out of the the front defroster, which it, it, it is. And I only had it going for a minute or so. I also checked the radiator i put a little bit of antifreeze directly in here to see if it was pulling any from this reservoir <clears throat> and it did um only took a little bit so it wasn't very low um so i don't think i got an antifreeze problem i think i'm gonna give her some window wash here while i'm here but uh so far no no check engine light i don't know i don't know what was wrong i don't know what triggered it <laughs> It uh, did trigger it. I reset it. And uh, should come back. We're going out to dinner tonight. So we're going we're gonna to see what happens. We can see if I get some uh, window wash here. Which I do. By the way, this is my... <laughs> this is my boutique of car stuff. I'll have to... I started with Zymol, that cleaner wax. That's what I used on the Red Challenger. And then, uh, one on the Chemical Guys 5050. I still like that stuff. And uh, this stuff is pretty cool. This wet mirror finish. Got a lot of Chemical Guys products. Um, Wolfgang, I get some of that. The uh, Spritzer. But, um,. Be honest with you, I, I just I like the turtle wax ice. Uh, now there's a new kind of turtle wax. I, I like the turtle wax stuff. And uh, this turtle wax uh, scratch kit, that stuff's really good. Man, I made a scratch disappear with that thing. And I have that turtle wax ice thing back here. Let me show you this one. I never used it in the shine lock. It was ten dollars. I was like, shit, I'll get it. So. I'm going to try that someday. And I got, uh, I got all the stuff, you know, the port cables and all that. I haven't even used it. I bought all this stuff to detail the cars and I just never, never used it. I got a new car instead. <laughs> anyway, this is what I used in the rims. It didn't turn any color, so I don't know the pads were organic or something <clears throat> so um yeah let me put this in what do you guys like using i'm just curious so what do you guys use for wax and sealants and, and that sort of thing kind of want to know all right put in the comments below <laughs> Let's get some sort of thing i wish that that other cap had that because uh thing man good thing that magnet i couldn't find the telescoping magnet i was looking for so i had to use a shorter one but gosh i was able to reach it barely use a long screwdriver to kick it closer but i would have had to crawl under the car and move that pan that would have been a pain in the ass anyway she's got sixty-five thousand miles on it 
she's got a warranty on this thing 100,000 mile warranty extended warranty so anyway it's pretty been pretty reliable car knock on wood all right looks like she needs gas so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get gas with this thing and see if that uh, engine light checks uh, check engine light pops back up again might add some uh, probes in here just to see I worry also about her throttle position sensor. Sometimes she says she steps, and I've driven this car too. Sometimes you step on the brakes, it seems almost like um, it doesn't want to stop. It's like the engine's still pushing. And my other car did that too. My Mazda 6 did that too. Strange. All right, hang on. Look at the engine coolant temperature. I don't know why they're all on top of each other. I have to be on the display where I want to put it. F funny, I can't drag them around though. <clears throat> I like the grass better than the dials, but I'll try a dial. Fuel pressure looks good. Doesn't read anything. Cool temperature. You see what I mean? If I have a chart, I can. get a history, more of a history, right? So don't let me read anything there. this all data widget oh there's my math right there look at that if you guys see anything unusual here uh, let me know the battery is about done on my GoPro so Alright, so I think I uh, know what check engine light, so all is good. Alright, see you in a bit. Be safe. Please oh, I don't check and drive. Look at the price. My wife buys uh, groceries from the. Uh, I forget what grocery store, but you get 50 cents house, off. It's to make it look like you didn't go out of town. Mm. Buy a really smart plug this. for your lamp or television and program them to go on and off through a smartphone app. So. Outdoor all right, I had to laugh because this thing was, you saw the, the tank, right? Now it's full. This is the most. <laughs> and with the discount, uh, 11 gallons, $20. <laughs> uh, nice. All right, I'm out of here before this guy's car blows up. It stinks like gas. I screwed, screwed that up. So I got to laugh because I filled the tank. 
with the discount it was 20 bucks it was like 11 gallons 20 dollars to fill the tank on this uh, Mazda and her range is 384 miles uh, yeah that's what I kind of missed about the old Mazda my, um, my Mazda 6 was the same way anyway so yeah no nothing going on here now I'm gonna go out to dinner hopefully everything is okay could have just been a fluke or whatever we'll see if it comes back Hope everybody had a great Christmas uh, man, beautiful day here in North Carolina. A little bit cool, but look at that. Can't get up. Couldn't get any better than that. I have to go to the solar panel on my wife's Mazda. Um, the battery's dead. Uh, it's been going. It's car's kind of old. I uh, I looked up the best deal on car batteries is Costco. Have to get it and do it myself, but it's a uh, 650 cold cranking amps. 35N series battery and uh, $79. I have an old battery, so I already have a core. So I'm just gonna give them that one. Cool, cool beans. I'm gonna bring the thing home and change the battery in her Mazda. See in a bit. All right, so I got her battery, $84 total. Tax total, everything out the door. I gave them that core battery. This is this. It, uh, this said it was a 36 months or something, three year warranty. So, I think they extend it when I use that credit card, but I don't know, whatever. I don't think we'll have the car that much longer anyway. He gets this new job. She gets this new, new job, she's gonna want a new car. <laughs> anyway. A little bit here. I uh, I filled up the tank 252 for premium, so I'm pretty happy about that. Topped off the tank, car's looking good. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I gotta tell you, I mean, this is why I'm not a mechanic, I must have like two left thumbs or something. So as I'm taking the battery, the brand new battery, out of my trunk, and I'm holding it by the edge, it caught the trunk, the bottom caught the trunk, and the battery took a tumble. So I glued the shit out of it with a glue gun. Just checking to see if it's leaking at all. It's not leaking. I've done this before, I've glued a battery, but it cracked it. Shit. Man, do you believe that? So, sometimes like when you see a project and you're like, oh, I can save some money. Just remember, things don't always go as planned. <laughs> don't let me work on your car. <laughs> um, I got her car started with a solar panel. So, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to wait a little bit to see if that thing leaks. I don't think it is. And then I'm gonna put it in the car. Should be a pretty easy job. God, do you believe that? Yeah, so. Uh, oh, and also this thing. This pissed me off. Okay, so it's barely holding up. See that? And they wouldn't replace my lifts. This morning it wouldn't hold up at all. I held it, lifted it all the way up. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't hold. And of course, I I lean in here with my head, and I think, oh, I, I now I know it doesn't stay up. So I caught it in time, but I almost bumped my head again. And if you hit your head on this freaking thing, OMG. So I don't know, dealership. I'm not playing this game. I played this game last time in my last car, so I'm going to write a letter to Dodge and uh, let them know I already bumped my head once. And, um, yeah, give them the name of my attorney and say I want these shocks replaced, see what so happens. I'm going to change the battery. Let me double check this again. I just have one of those days where everything's kind of, I don't know, maybe I drank too much last night. 
So it looks good. It doesn't look like it's leaking at all. And I've used this shit before, so it should be all right. But I, but when I used this stuff before, it was on the top of a battery, not near the bottom where the acid is coming out. Seems all right, though. All right. So let's take the old other one out. By the way, this is in case you have a Mazda. That's how you pronounce it, Mazda. 10 millimeter for everything. Very nice. They wanted $200 for a freaking one of those uh, red top batteries. Optima. They didn't sell the other ones, the yellow one, I think. Cheaper. Okay. Now, let me see if I can take this one out without dropping it. But I like the ones with the handles. You know, if I got the one with the fucking handle that was there, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have a problem. Something wet in there, but I think that was when I cleaned the car up. Let me get the paper towel and dry it. Awesome day here at North Hills Mall. This is coming too. It smells so good here. You can smell the steaks cooking at Firebirds. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get an Amia Francesca and eat out on the patio. Beautiful day out here. 71 degrees today. I believe it. Oh, there's a crosswalk over there. But... Oh, I missed that spot. That would have been a good park. Our favorite place is gone, Murrah. Oh, we got a spot here. It's a miracle. Yeah. Murrah's not here. I don't want to crunch. Sad. Um, yeah, they're gonna redo this place. Anyway, close the sunroof. I think I'm about as close as I can get to the curb. It's hard to tell in these cars. That's why I usually like the back end. All right, see you guys in a little bit. So this place is uh, Bar Taco. This is kind of new. If you haven't been here, Mexican food. Masons, they got lobster rolls. Mmm, <gasps> smells so good. I'm having lobster tonight. I got one thorn in the, right now, the fridge now. Frozen lobster. Still pretty good. This place is amazing right here. Oh, are they even not open? I don't see anything outside. The Renaissance. We'll have to eat inside, honey. I'll show you inside of this place. Me and Francesca. My lens is dirty. Let me try it again. All right, this is the inside of Mia Francesca. This is the bar area. Highly recommended, unsolicited review. Mia Francesca and Raleigh. All right, showing off North Hill some more.
We are so stuffed. We eat like two things of bread. Two things of bread. Okay. What else do Thank we you. have? Uh, gosh. Sue had the hamburger. And then I had uh, this penne pasta with a uh, salad. With, uh, uh, yeah, house salad is really, yeah. really good. And it's amazing. The waiter was telling us that he lives across the street in one of those condos there. Right above a bowling alley. Yeah. And above the grocery store. Here's the. This is condo right there, and this big building there. Alright. Alright, so Sue is driving the Hemi. <laughs> Give it some gas, baby. <laughs> Driving slowly on the side on the on the driveway. <laughs> like like Raymond. <laughs> I know should I teach her how to do a burnout? What do you think? This is powerful. <laughs> she hasn't even stepped on the gas yet. But she likes the brakes, the six piston Pembros, compared to her Mazda where you gotta sit on them. goes up so high that it's hard to see what your speed is so she had me put the digits up on the screen that'd be funny if she got a ticket <laughs> got pulled over <laughs> <Not fun. laughs> anyway all right so she's doing good so she went for she drives a mazda cx-5 and now she's driving a scat pack wide body challenger Yeah. And it's huge. Yeah, it's the Queen Mary. Tuna boat. People behind you are like, what the hell, man? Why are they going so slow? <laughs> Tickets are not in my budget right now. Too bad. <laughs> no, they're saying it's got to be a woman behind them. No, not necessarily. Well, there's a lot of women Woman that driven. go fast, pretty fast, yeah. <laughs> it's my first time driving anything with this kind of power. First impression in the wide body Challenger. I hit the gas a little bit. Just go whoom. nice about where we live it's you can actually drive a car like this I mean I, I wouldn't want to drive this in the city it's all the potholes and stop and go traffic and everything else. can you imagine if mom drove this yeah she, she put your mom in here so. <laughs> let's get get a little more insurance on the car first mom's a good driver yeah she drives fast she'll have us up to 80 in no time let's give the cop the finger real quick it, it didn't take her long to adapt to the the, 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 the brotherhood of muscle Got a 
um, SUV that's got a big motor like this. I don't know if you need this motor, but it's 5.7 would be nice. So she's digging it. 